And violence continues to plague Myanmar, even as the country rolls out relief efforts in the aftermath of Cyclone Mocha. Some fear that the crisis could deepen and politics could also come into play as victims look to rebuild their lives with aid from abroad. Leung Wai Kid speaks with two experts for a special talk show edition of CNA Correspondent. Cyclone Mocha spells a new crisis in Myanmar and its people are bearing the brunt of it. The cyclone battered Western Myanmar, the worst natural disaster to affect the country since Cyclone Nagas 15 years ago. The Myanmar military eventually allowed aid into the country, though it took place after the crucial first weeks, slowing down relief efforts. Mo, you've penned a book on Cyclone Nagas 15 years ago. To what extent do you see history repeating itself under the present circumstances with regard to Cyclone Mocha? If you're asking can ASEAN uh, try to push for another breakthrough, um, the, the military in Myanmar has also learned about how that um, ASEAN space for humanitarian assistance uh, could be used, maneuvered, leveraged. Aaron, do you see this crisis being turned into an opportunity? The big difference between Nargis in 2008 and Mocha this year is that it hit an area that isn't entirely under the control of the State Administration Council. This is a more complicated situation because the American Army, or the ULA, its political arm, is in control of much of Rakhine State. If aid is to be delivered to Rakhine State, it would have to be delivered both to the ULA, to the American Army, mm -hmm. and to the State Administration Council uh, administered areas. And so that's a new challenge and, yes. and different from Nargis. And it's not clear how international organizations will respond to that that challenge yet that's a very pertinent point as Aaron has highlighted we're actually seeing now um, the the Arakan army the ULA the United League for uh, the administrative wing of the AA um, asserting also that it has this stake it this role in um, assuring the the humanitarian welfare of it of the communities living in Rakhine do you think violence would subside during this rebuilding and and uh, relief uh, effort period or do you think that army would take this opportunity and step up their offensives? Well, Rakhine State is one case where there's already a ceasefire in place. If you look at the flooding that has occurred in Sagang and Magwe, it seems that the SAC is taking the opposite course. They've actually stepped up their attacks. But resistance forces have also stepped up their offensives against the Myanmar army. Meanwhile, aid from ASEAN and United Nations are trickling into Myanmar. But there are concerns it will be politicized, with aid going only to whomever the Myanmar army wants to give. Late last year, the army introduced a law that makes registration of NGOs compulsory. It's feared the law would threaten aid delivery and be used as a tool to crush the opposition. Leong Waikit, CNA.